गुड इवनिंग सर इट्स रियली ए प्लेजर टॉकिंग टू यू एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर योर न्यू रेजोना आई नाइन आई एम रियली वेरी वेरी एक्साइटेड एंड लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड वर्किंग विथ यू इन कमिंग डेज सो सर बिफोर वी गो ऑन विद अदर क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक यू टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ टू अवर ऑडियंस Okay, uh, hi, I'm uh, Dr. Rajesh Chobal. So I'm uh, currently working at Thane Ultrasound Center, and I'm also a consultant at Jaslok Hospital in Mumbai. And I've been here for the last six years. And um, yeah, I have a special interest in uh, uh, the more recent advances, elastography, uh, contrast ultrasound. Uh, we do end up uh, doing a lot of uh, musculoskeletal ultrasound as well as interventions. So yeah, that's uh, just in short about. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, in last ten years, MSK has recently picked up really a lot in India, and you are doing a lot of work in MSK. So, I would like to know from you uh, globally what trends are shaping up in MSK industry, and are there new research findings waiting to be uncovered within MSK imaging that will help patient care significantly? So, like you rightly pointed out, uh, MSK ultrasound has really picked up uh, over the last uh, decade or so, and it's it's because of a lot of pioneering work and a lot of uh, efforts from a lot of senior faculty uh, in India. And uh, yes, uh, we do liaise a lot with uh, international faculty as well. Uh, and you know, we are seeing this increasing trend of uh, using MSK ultrasound. And the best part is because it is so uh, easily available. You know, it can really reach all the corners of the country. where uh, you know mri when, whenever you think of msk imaging you always first you know think of mri but actually that's not always the case and in fact the first uh, pr- uh, investigation should probably be an ultrasound uh, of course everything has its own advantages uh, and limitations uh, there'll, there'll be areas in msk where mri will be far superior to ultrasound and uh, but we also need to know where uh, uh, ultrasound is uh, you know uh, very effective and especially when it comes to dynamic studies because you know we can uh, do a lot of dynamic movements we can assess the patients uh, when they are doing all these movements which is really not a possibility with mr so yeah it is a fantastic tool and uh, yes uh, now over the period of time we have these uh, newer things coming up we have we have been talking about these microflow imaging high uh, you know higher sensitivity uh, color flow imaging uh, we are talking about using elastography in msk so all in all these things are catching up doing interventions in um, uh, you know uh, ultrasound guided interventions in msk is also something which is uh, you know catching up uh, as a big thing and uh, we we not only use it for uh, you know things like shoulders and all we are using it even for uh, pain mag- pain management therapies so you know all in all the role of ultrasound has really increased and it's you know picking up um, um, as as we talk so yes there will be uh, you know things like uh, elastography coming up we are hoping to use contrast in some form uh, on uh, uh, in msk probably we, we, we there'll be advancements which we cannot even think of at this point of time uh, but yes uh, i think uh, just to sum it up uh, uh, msk ultrasound is a very very important uh, you know modality and uh, we are we are doing our level best to promote it and uh, so that it's uh, reaching all corners of this country and you know to make maximum use of it Thank you, sir. Sir, another I think upcoming disease in India is the fatty liver disease. We are seeing at every corner in India. So, fatty liver disease is unfolding as as an almost I can say endemic in India. So, how ultrasound technology can help in cost effective way in uh, management of this disease? So, uh, yes, like you rightly pointed out, uh, fatty liver is becoming an endemic in India. It is far more prevalent than what we think it is, and you know there are a lot of factors which add on to it, like diabetes, and uh, you know we we know that India is like almost like the diabetes capital of the world. Uh, the dyslipidemia, all these factors are adding on to your fatty liver burden, and. Uh, as a time passes we'll see that these fatty livers progressing into fibrosis and cirrhosis is going to go on increasing we'll be seeing a uh, far more number of these cases we'll be seeing far more cases of uh, non alcoholic steatohepatitis to hepatitis and uh, this is where we need to do a major amount of work because if we have this huge liver disease burden in our country it's going to be a difficult one for the entire uh, you know healthcare system to really manage it uh, you know we are probably talking of increasing uh, liver transplants as well so which is not uh, not uh, the best position to be in uh, 
so yes, ultrasound does play a very very important role because majority of the times uh, when we do an ultrasound scan, we are the first people to really detect or say that yes, this patient or this particular person has a fatty liver disease. Uh, this happens very frequently when you know even patients come for their health checkups, they're absolutely non-suspecting candidates, but you may end up uh, seeing these fatty livers. You can see this in thin patients, you can see this in kids. So the prevalence is really, really high and uh, we on ultrasound can really detect it very soon. And now we are moving into the phase where we are going beyond detection of fatty livers. Uh, uh, we, are, we are going into the functional aspects of imaging. We are trying to ascertain whether fibrosis is set into the liver. We are trying to ascertain if cirrhosis is setting in. Uh, and we are on ultrasound able to detect some of these things even before uh, these things start getting reflected on their blood test. And as uh, uh, you know, these systems become more widely available in the country, uh, we should see uh, you know, uh, faster detection of these fatty livers and earlier detection is absolutely critical because you know uh, prevention like we say is always better than cure so we don't want these things to progress we want them to catch at an early stage and it is reversible mind you so uh, fatty livers can be reversed and um, uh, i am an example of that honestly so i i have reversed my fatty liver so i i think uh, anyone can and um, uh, ultrasound will uh, detect these, like I said, changes before they can come um, uh, come into the, uh, uh, you know, uh, blood. Uh, they can be seen in your blood parameters. Uh, you uh, will soon be able to even grade the fatty livers in a more functional aspect using liver attenuation. So yes, uh, this technology is building up. It will be far more easily accessible and uh, therefore should help the large uh, amount of our population. Thank you, sir. Uh, from industry, I would like to ask you one more question. Uh, I think recently there's a lot of advancement in ultrasound equipments. We have incorporated a lot of AI-based features as well as we have explored a lot of uh, uh, new areas or applications of ultrasound. Do you think is there anything else that uh, we as a company should explore or do more research to support the clinical uh, diagnosis to all the clinicians? Yeah, so I think this is again a developing ongoing thing. We are always going to be researching more. We are going to, I mean, as you, uh, as the industry keeps on developing these uh, features, we are going to put it into clinical practice. Then we'll have queries. Then we'll come back to you with the queries. You'll develop, you know, uh, better technology. So yes, uh, uh, there is always a uh, scope for, uh, you know, improvement and detecting more things. And I think, uh, especially in ultrasound, ongo imaging is, I think, something that we can stress more on, you know, especially using the contrast agents, which uh, at this point of time are not very widely popular, mainly because of the cost factor. And uh, we, in fact, we are working with, uh, you know, some uh, teams to kind of get these cost factors down, develop newer agents. Uh, and you know, if these agents are uh, you know locally produced, the cost factor should come down. The availability should be easier. The application will be easier, and we will be able to use this uh, quite significantly, especially when it comes to onco imaging. Um, yeah, so that that is something where we can really stress quite a bit on. Thank you, sir. And the last question, sir. Uh, how do you see Mindray as a partner for Healthier Bharat? We would like to have some comments from your side, sir. So, uh, we know that as we speak, we have launched a nationwide campaign on uh, detecting fatty liver diseases, which, uh, which Mindray is a big part of. Uh, they are supporting this endeavor uh, by the IRI and uh, we are actually going nationwide. We are trying to collect data, we are trying to train radiologists and uh, yes, Mindray is, uh, uh, has been extremely supportive. So, I thank them on uh, the behalf of IRI and uh, all of us. And of course, we'll see more and more of these uh, training programs, not only with respect to fatty liver, but uh, uh, other uh, training uh, programs as well. And of course, I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, Mindre will uh, always, uh, you know, be uh, supportive and uh, carry on and help with the whole thing. So, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, thank you very much, sir. It is really a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Same here. Same here.